You want to hear a story, eh? <laughs> First, let me ask you something. What is the most important thing about a story? A model hero? A villain that makes the blood freeze in your veins? A marvelously captivating narrator's voice? Or maybe a happy ending? Hmm. In any case, I'm sure there is no better way to start a story than with... Me. <laughs> Pirate legend, Captain Kabika. <laughs> that was almost a little too easy. I did it. Again. Ah, oh, I am the best. Now, Ignatz's Will of the Wisp must be buried here somewhere. Alponzo, bring me the map again. <laughs> Hmm, a pile of loosened earth. I think I should definitely dig here. Yikes! Not on the first try. <laughs> that has never happened before. Again? Okay, uh, this is uh, <laughs> getting embarrassing. Ah, now that looks better. <laughs> Take that, you crashed orders. At last, Ignatius Willow the Wisp. Now, how about I continue the story of me, a Ponzo and the Will o' the Wisp? Sure, I could tell you that, but this story is about someone else. Cleo! Hey, Cleo! Cleo! Have you heard what butt hair Pete fished this morning? What? What did you just throw at me? Tell her, Pete. I, I guess it was a shrimp head. What? What? No! You were supposed to tell her what you had in the fishing net this morning. You are throwing a shrimp head at me? I am sitting right next to you. Couldn't you have just tapped me on the shoulder or something? Come on. Cocktail umbrellas. <laughs> what? Cocktail umbrellas. Crazy, right? 
There were hundreds of cocktail umbrellas in Pete's fishing net. Hey, Susie, do I get another bottle? Ugh, my name is Cleo. Why do you keep forgetting my name? It's easy. It's C-L-E. Yeah, whatever. Just get Pete the bottle. <sighs> Hey, did you guys know that Captain Kibika is on a treasure hunt with a monkey? Hey, Pete, what was the name of that bay again where you find all this crazy stuff? Oh, Panamu Bay. <laughs> the best fishing spot ever. Uh, I was just about to tell you something. Do I always have to tell you this? Nobody is interested in your made-up stories. We are bartenders. Our guests tell the stories. We serve the rum bottles. We listen. Listen? You must be kidding. I can literally smell what Pete did today. He fished, and he drank rum. Yeah, right. Pete caught the fish for Herbert's fish soup. While you were just leafing through your stupid fantasy pirate book. It's not fantasy. Takeaway Getaway is the book series about the famous Captain Kabeka. Kabeka is a real adventurer, a legend, and not such a loser as... Pete? You! Kyla, do you have more of this, uh, spicy sauce? Cleo! No, uh, soy. <coughs> I'll bring it, Pete. Cleo, bring Granny Gabble a bottle of rum before you get bored to death. She's out in the dark, knitting. <sighs> aye, aye, Captain. This is Granny Gabble. At least everyone calls her that. Nobody knows her real name. Hello, Granny Gabble. I have some more rum for you here. Yeah, I know. I'd like to be out there too. Discovering new islands, going on adventures, being anywhere else in the world but here. It's always refreshing and so much fun talking to you, Granny Gabble. We had a great laugh, right? Wow, talking to Granny Gabble was a blast, as always. Can I please read my book now? Hey, where is it? Maybe I'll give it back to you when you've helped Hatchet Herbert in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Come on! Or your silly book ends up in the oven faster than you can say shrimp head. Hey, Herbert. Hello, Cleo. What a nice day, huh? What a day. Mm-hmm. I'm supposed to help you. Great! That's even more fun! Please, fetch me a fish from the net. Sure. Ew. Why are you in such a good mood? Don't you notice anything about me? Look closely. Hmm. A new hatchet? Wrong! A master cook knows a hatchet is only as good as... The cook who chops with it? Wrong again! The board it's shopping on! Ah, I see. A new cutting board. Correct! This board is the Stradivari among the cutting boards. Some say it's almost as good as one of cutting board pits boards. Cutting board pit? What? Never heard of cutting board pit? He is a legend in the cutting board business. He only made a handful of cutting boards. Some say 
These boards are invaluable and unscratchable. Wow, so what happened to Cutting Board Pit? He took a blood oath to never craft a cutting board again. And then he was gone. Nobody has seen him since. What the? There's a dead hand and a book in my fish! Wow! This is a real pirate's logbook, Herbert! Holy cow! That is not going into my soup. I will inform your dad about this. I need to know what's in this book. But these bony fingers are keeping the pages closed. Hmm. Let's see. Logbook of the fearless adventurer Captain Avery Alwick. I fought three days and nights against the monster, until I could finally kill it. By today I will leave the haven. Ha! The ship may sink to the bottom of the sea under the weight of all that gold. The wind blows right for me to sail to my final destination for now. Because there's still one treasure for me to search for. The biggest one of them all. The treasure of eternal memory. Oh, a real pirate. Who was that? What the? That looks like a word. Or a name? Ye call me Lely. My fish soup! My cutting board! What's happened here? I... I mean, there was... Why the cutting board? Cleo? No, that wasn't me! It... it was a ghost! A ghost? Enough! Stop telling those lies! But I'm... I'm not lying... Cleo! It's time for you to grow up! No more of this crap! My book? No! Tomorrow morning, you will go fishing with Pete. What? But I can't even swim. I thought you wanted to go on an adventure. And I seriously don't want to see you around here. No back talk. Cleo couldn't sleep that night, for the ghost's appearance left her no peace. What was all of this supposed to mean? The ghost, the blood splatter, Yako Mullaly. Cleo opened the mysterious logbook she had found and started to write.